they've contacted Hamilton into the barriers. I think that he just didn't expect Kobe Ashley to still be there when he got in the braking zone, which I think Lewis at the time took full responsibility for that accident. I don't think that was fully his responsibility. Let's just look at this. You're right, he's holding a straight line, he's past Kobe Ashley. He comes back slightly in the braking zone. He comes back at him, David. He moves. That's what, a move. What is Kobayashi doing there on the outside? He's entitled to be there. He's entitled. What, is he going to pass him on the outside? It, it, that's irrelevant. He's entitled. He doesn't move. He doesn't alter his position of his car. Okay, I hear you. I respect your point of view, but I want to show you something. Look at Kobayashi's front left wheel. He's starting to turn in. It's almost like Kobayashi expects Lewis to disappear. For now, with the benefit of the slow-mo and looking at it, that is Kobayashi's fault, and Lewis was just wrong place, wrong time.